She about to take me no winners, cat nigga can't even see me on winners, cat She about to fly me on winners Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel In today's video, I'm about to do my, bruh I'm about to do my in-depth fem feminine hygiene routine, okay? I already did a hygiene routine video, but somebody asked for this video again. And I have to upload a video in about two hours, and I have nothing to upload. So I'm just going to record this because it's quick and easy and gets, gets everything, you know, done, okay? In this video, I'm going to separate my parts into my in-shower routine, my shave routine, my hair routine, out-of-shower routine, skincare, and oral hygiene. I think that's our topics. It should be our topics. But if it's not, then I'll just, I don't know. I'm going to start my in-shower routine because that's like when the hygiene actually starts. I don't know. First, when I get in the shower, I wash my whole body from head to toe with Dove body soap. And it's always the sensitive skin one or the original one, just one that's not scented. If it's scented, I won't use it on my whole body. It has to be unscented and I will use it head to toe, okay? Like... It works so good. It makes me feel so clean. Like, it makes me feel so clean. Like, I don't even know. And it gets the job done. So, yeah. And then for scented soaps, I use, I either use Dove, Method, or Native. But I'm going to show y'all Dove today. Okay. This is my Dove Vanilla. My Dove Vanilla Shea Butter Pampering stuff. Okay. That works really good. When it comes to scented soaps, I only use it on my leg. On my, yeah, my legs, my arms, and my neck, okay? I don't use it anywhere else. Because when it comes to scents, that's really the only like places that people smell you. And that's why I use this on my whole body and then go in with this. So it just makes sense to me, okay? And then for the last soap that I use, I use Dr. Bronner's. Dr. Bronner's is good for every spot. Well, the one I use is good for every spot, so I use it for every spot. You know what I'm saying? This is the baby unscented one. So if you want to be able to use it everywhere, get the unscented one. Don't get the peppermint one, the lavender one, the rose one, none of that. Get the unscented one because that's the only one you can actually use in places. When it comes to washing my body, I just use exfoliating gloves. I use different gloves for each one. So like for my white ones, that's when I go in with these two soaps. But I have like a pink one and that's when I use this soap. So, I just use exfoliating gloves and separate the two for different steps of my hygiene. For my shave routine. So, before I even start shaving, I exfoliate my body and I use tea... What? I use Tree Hut all the time. I have every flavor, every scent, whatever you call it, okay? I love um, Tree Hut. But I exfoliate my whole body. Then I apply my shaving cream, which is the EOS vanilla one. I always get the vanilla one, so... I apply my shaving cream. I go in with my razor. I don't know what brand razor this is. I got it from Target. It came like, it's five blades, right? Wait. It's five blades and it came in a pack of like eight, I think. I don't know what brand this is, but I think it's just a Target brand. So, yeah. They're really smooth. They go like straight down the leg, okay? That's all for my shave routine. I don't do too much when it comes to shaving. I think I'm gonna do my oral care now. My oral hygiene is really basic too, so it's gonna be like a breeze to go through this, okay? My toothbrush, I just use this pink Colgate toothbrush, okay? So toothbrush and then Colgate toothpaste. This is the charcoal one, so like it makes your teeth wider. These are the two I use to brush my teeth, okay? And then I get my tongue scraper and I scrape my tongue real good, very well. Scrape your tongue very well and get rid of all bacteria, all nasty smells, do that. Then I go back in with toothpaste and I brush my tongue. For my mouthwash, I just use TheraBreath. I either use this one or the dark blue one. I kind of like the dark blue one a little bit more because like it's a little bit stronger. But this one works good too. This is the sparkling mint one. It works good too. Now I'm going to do skincare because on my last hygiene routine, I did not ask skincare. And people are like on me about it. So I'm going to do skincare y'all. My skincare is very simple. It's not much to it. I try to keep like I try to keep my skincare very minimum because if you're doing too much stuff and then you're starting to break out, you're trying to figure out like oh what's breaking you out. And you got so much stuff in your skincare routine, so I keep my skincare very minimum, not too much. About three things for I think like three things. So very simple. Y'all, it's in a Ziploc bag, so not too much on me because I don't got no uh, soap case. I need a soap case, but not too much on me. I just use black African soap to wash my whole face. I don't use a washcloth to wash my face anymore because I don't know, like, 
TikTok were slaving me to stop. They were like, oh, it's bad for bacteria or whatever. So I stopped doing that. So after I um, wash my face with like African soap, I start to use these to wash my face. And these are face towels. They're disposable. So you open it, you get the face towel, you dry your face off, and you throw it away. Because there's no bacteria on it since it's like just fresh out the box. Yeah, so this is what I use to wash my face off when like I'm trying to get the water off my face or whatever and then to moisturize my face i just use vaseline i don't know where the sticker is i just use vaseline i use vaseline to moisturize my face pimple patches to get rid of like pimples i just use mighty patch i know y'all see me wearing star face a lot but usually i wear star face because i like the way it looks i don't wear it because it really helps me because when it comes to star face yeah like it removes the pimple on its own but it leaves like really bad dark marks as you can see, it leaves like really bad dark marks. So, Mighty Patch does not leave dark marks and it gets the pimple clean off, okay? Now time for hair care. And for hair care, I'm just going over what I use to clean my hair and keep my hair hydrated. I'm not going over like the gel I use because it's not hygiene related, okay? For my shampoo and conditioner, I use Carol's Daughter. Carol? Yeah, Carol's Daughter. Y'all, this smells so good, and it works so good as well. Like, my hair be so soft, be smelling good. I love that stuff, okay? Keep my hair hydra hydrated. I haven't really noticed if it grows my hair out for real. I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I'm pretty sure it does. I think it does. Maybe I'm just, like, not realizing. I don't know. But I use rosemary oil. Out of the shower... Once I get off the shower, I y'all, this is my favorite. Like the shower and the after the shower are my favorite parts of hygiene. I just love it so much. Once I get out the shower, I use witch hazel. I not use witch hazel all over my body. I don't. I get a washcloth and I dab it on there. Put it under my armpits and I get a different one. And I put it down there because it helps clean. You don't put it inside of it though. I use this Vaseline um, Cocoa Radiant Body Oil, and I use this like on my arms and my legs and stuff. And then once I get done with that, I go right in with this, okay? I do this first and this second. This is the EOS um, Body Lotion. It works so good, bro. For deodorant, I use Dove, okay? I use the Dove Bar one, but mine don't got no cap on it right now, so I'm not going to show you that because it's a little ghetto. Because it's a little ghetto, so I'm not going to show you that, but hold up. I use Dove and I use Dove. Okay, I love Dove. For fragrance mist, um, this is one of the ones I use, which is this is the Sol de Janeiro. How do you say it? Sol de Janeiro 40. Oh, so good, y'all. Ooh, I love this stuff. 10 out of 10 recommend. Or I'll just use like Bath and Body Works, or I use like a little roll on, or I'll use Victoria's Secret. And then for extra perfume, this is my favorite, okay? This is my all-time favorite. I hope when y'all think of Bailey Eilish, perfume, y'all think of me. Because I love this perfume so much and I always wear it. Okay, and it stays, it stays on too. Not, like, not too much. It stays on all day long. I can spray this in the morning, go to school, come back home, still smelling like it. Who you know? Who you know? Period stuff that I use or whatever. For pads, I just use regular pads. I don't know. I use regular pads. I was going to try that Honey Pot brand, but people are like, oh no, don't do Honey Pot. It burns. It's bad. Whatever, whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not, no, I'm not doing this myself. I'm not. So I'll continue with regular pads. My flow is really light, so I just use the thin ones. But if your flow is heavier, I'll recommend getting thicker ones. When it comes to cramps, I just use a heating pad. It goes over my stomach, and then I put it to the highest setting because my cramps will be asked sometimes. I put it to the highest setting. Let us sit. My cramps go away. Feel better. I'll take a nap. Whatever. And then to track my period, I just use Flow. In all honesty, Flow is not the most accurate. But when it is accurate, it's really helpful. A day or two before Flow's, like, all your periods when to come on, I do you wear panty liners. And then my period actually comes off when I wear pads. That's really all my hygiene stuff and tips I have for y'all. So, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and comment more videos I want to see from me.